wreath moves here. New addition to the tank is the blue hippo tang. Um, she's been in the tank now for a day and she has been just gording herself on this reef lettuce as I like to call it. Can't quite tell what it is. It's that it's just a red long leaf. Some people that I've asked at the local fish store says it's a fungus. I've got an emerald crab hiding out down under there. Can't quite see him in the video on my screen but there is an emerald crab underneath that leftover shell. He's just kind of down there munching. Anyways, he's green. And then there's one in here that's kind of a chalky, whitish, pink color somewhere. We put them in at the same time, and I'm assuming being that he's alive, the other one's still alive and in the tank somewhere. I'm just not sure where. But the clowns and the hippo tank seem to be getting along just fine can't see it in the video very well but her belly right there it just behind her fin is just packed fat full of lumpy goodness and um, I have just seen her been tearing the daylights out of this red lettuce stuff um, I actually was hoping she'd go after that bubble algae there's rumors says she will and so will the emerald crabs I know I could just go in and scrape it and suck it and all that crap but I don't want to do that so cleanup crew is growing we got some more snails and some more crabs uh, we got two top hat snails and two other type snails they're really big there's one of them right there and one of them right there top hats up there on that rock and the other top hat was Eh, somewhere over here. Anyways, I don't see him now. Um, and then we got the little red skirt back there with the big red skirt. Or, I'm sorry, red collar. Um, absolutely love those. Um, me and the wife like the top hat uh, shell look. And I don't remember why we got the other two snails other than they were big and cool looking. So, the other really smooth shell one... We asked what he was called again, and I can't remember. I will try to remember that and get in a later video. But blue hippo tang added to the tank. Um, give you a size reference. Uh, she's roughly inch and a half, maybe two two inches long from head to tail. Um, Mike Valletta, one of his videos, say that fish's stomachs are only as big as their eyeballs. Well, I got news for him. Mike Paletta, eat your heart out. That little hippo tank belly is like huge. Stuffed with food. And she poops. So she's garbage gutting through all this red leaf lettuce, Mike Paletta. But uh, you're a wealth of info. I do like you. Anywho, uh, Mike Paletta is often on America, American Reef. Um, if you're surfing around. I really enjoy watching his videos and his information and wealth of knowledge for many years. Anywho, uh, my canyon tree I think is just not liking the flow I have in my tank. He's been cooped up cranky and not doing well. I moved him over here but I can tell by the the red leafy stuff that there's still a lot of flow over here and uh, I'm going to try to find a slower spot in the tank and try them down there or maybe try to build a little shelter because with the uh, Jabo wave maker on low there is just a lot of movement in the tank you can see the water dip right there when it hits I mean it just you know moves, moves quite a bit of water um, I still have my skimmer on the back um, I find it works a lot better than it did down on my sump uh, as you can see, I've got the green fern leafy calerpa and this red, they called it dragon's tongue. Um, not too happy with the dragon's tongue yet. It just doesn't seem to be rooting up and, and growing roots. Um, I would be much happier if it did that. Uh, the bubble tip anemone has come back. Uh, 
and kind of found a home right there. It's it stayed there for quite a while now. Uh, other than that, that's the tank today.